Hello, in this short video I just want to show you how you can use Inkscape and an extension called Chico Tools to convert a line into machinable code to process that shape on a two-axis lace. Okay, we start in Inkscape with our line, with the contour and we go to Extensions G-code tools and first we set orientation points apply and by default the orientation point uh, 0 and 0 would be set on the side of the jug and exactly at the center at the rotation axis so if you later on plan to set the 0 point or to home the machine after you clamp the material then you will have to use touch off. I will show it later on. Okay, we leave it for the time being, we just leave what comes by default G-code tools and we now select tools library we here we can select lace cutter and here it is, we close the field so now here is the file in which we can change various parameters diameter of the tool, feed rate, penetration angle depends on this really depends on your tooling and the kind of material you are using. Uh, feed rate. Uh, really important is depth step, okay? So this is I select a rather small value, even so I, I work in wax just to it's my first try, so start with rather start with small values here. Okay. Now third step extension Chico tools. And now we can select lace. So and we just if you if you have selected the line you want to cut, you can now select live preview and you will see, okay, this is how the tool bus is going to look like. Um, as I said, I use a, a round bar of wax with a diameter of 28 millimeters, so the radius is 14, so I can change the lathe width to 14. Okay. The width of the fine cut, I will use only like 0 0.2 millimeter in my case, and I only want to have like two cuts. So what else can we change here? You could here you have you can enter a value that uh, for example could compensate a bit for the exact shape of your cutter. What else we have here? Well here in preferences you can first of all select the directory where the G code would be safe to and here is something it's called set safe height and well it's a bit confusing because it's not really the safety height for set in that case but it's what's indicated here this is the distance the tool would move away from the material when it is positioning you see if I, if I increase this value here to 5 and also like the tool would move away further from the material during positioning. Anyhow I can leave that at 3. Okay, well what you will have to do if you use a standard lace configuration like in my case uh, you will have to remap the output X you would have to remap to set okay and set output you would have to remap to X I don't know how why this is really necessary I can only guess that whoever wrote this whoever programmed this maybe he used a different configuration anyhow that's it I can export or apply and that's pretty much it my G code should have been saved to 
empty defined folder and it's in here okay so this is the G code we've generated if you use this extension more often if you get more familiar with it then you can define your default head uh, your, your your own customized customized headers uh, for the time being I have the default header and what I will have to do here because I use a standard lace configuration I enter G18 to switch to the correct plane so let's see at the bottom of the whole thing there is the footer um, quite uncommon in here there is a Y value which the CNC software could not really process because in the standard lace configuration we have X and Z so we change this to Z the X value would be fine but I change it to 18 as I said radius of my workpiece is 14 millimeters and in the end of the program I want to stop the tool like 18 millimeters away from the rotation axis so I have enough clearance to remove the material from the machine so these are the changes I've made I save save as and I call it I'll call it tutorial <laughs> today even so I, I don't think this is a real tutorial here this is just okay now somehow I have to I will have to upload this G code file to my motion controller. I use the Sandy box and on my motion controller here in my folder Windows I have one patch file that would open Win SCP for me. And I could use Win SCP to Upload my tutorial. NGC file here. Okay, let's go to the CNC software. This is Linux CNC, or better to say, actually, this is Machine Kit. Open the file. Oh. Open the file. Okay. And you see, to home the machine, to set the zero point, I would have to touch along x-axis I would have to touch exactly the center and uh, since my material has already been clamped I have to home both axes okay, and then on x-axis touch off at 14 millimeters so I will position my machine now in a, in a position where I just tip the tooltip will be on the material surface and this is it Woo! <laughs> 